Stockton is a city of contrast, blessed with beauty on its waterfront, but plagued by poverty. Homelessness is rampant in Stockton, and incumbent Mayor Michael Tubbs, a Democrat, says finding affordable housing is something he's actively working on. And in three short years, A, I've been able to secure over $10 million from the governor and the state, bu state budget to address the issue in Stockton. They were buying a hotel to convert it to permanent supportive housing. But Republican challenger Kevin Lincoln, a Marine who worked in the White House military office under President George W. Bush, says he has a better plan to address homelessness. And it's a very comprehensive plan that, that addresses uh, substance abuse and mental, mental health issues that our, our homeless populations deal with. And it also addresses those that have been plagued by homelessness uh, that are genuinely on tough times. Crime is another big issue in Stockton. These statistics from the Stockton Police Department show most major crimes have dropped in the past year, ranging from motor vehicle thefts to robberies. But in two categories, arson and homicides, the numbers have actually gone up. We don't feel safer today than we did four years ago. Challenger Kevin Lincoln is critical of the mayor's handling of crime. So if you're going to take credit for the crime reduction, you need to take responsibility and acknowledge, you know, the crime that has increased. On crime, when I, I ran for office initially because my cousin was murdered here in Stockton. So when we talk about shootings or homicides, that's personal. Tubb says he's introduced innovative programs to help reduce crime in Stockton. Programs like the Advanced Peace Program I'm very proud to have brought to Stockton, but also existing programs I've helped lead, like Ceasefire and the Office of Violence Prevention have been paying dividends. Tubbs also started a universal basic income of $500 a month to help 125 low-income families in Stockton pay their bills. What we see is that people are spending money the way you and I and those watching spend money on food, on their kids, on utilities. Tubbs says the money comes from private foundations and not taxpayers. But Lincoln is skeptical of the mayor's initiatives. You have uh, advanced peace. Uh, many people refer to it as cash for criminals here in Stockton. And uh, you, you have Stockton scholars. All this funding that uh, the mayor has brought in, uh, it's been brought in to, to, to serve him. Tubbs says the money comes from private foundations and not taxpayers. But Lincoln is skeptical of the mayor's initiatives. Whoever wins the mayor's race in November will likely govern here at the Waterfront Towers, the new city hall, starting next year. It's another sign of how this city of more than 300,000 people is changing. In Stockton, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. And the people of Stockton will have a young leader no matter who wins the mayor's race. Kevin Lincoln is 39 years old and Michael Tubbs is just 30.